Hello everybody and welcome to our on-screen tutorial for this week. This week I thought that we could discuss some fresh new ideas for content themes for 2022. In that quite often our social media can easily take over our entire workday and it need not do that. We have lots to do as business owners. We need to be working on our business. We need to be generating sales and we shouldn't be spending all day messing around and fussing within social media. So what I have found over the years to really put into practice is to have a good strategy, a good focus and a very simple way of implementing whatever it is that you need to be doing. And one of them relates to content themes. So for social media, I would say that for e-commerce, there are some best practices or textbook top tips on some themes that you can introduce into your social media content plan. And these are about to follow. I'm going to go through them and most of them should apply to your business if you have an e-commerce business and if not then you can adapt or at least go away and have a think about some other relevant headings that will assist you in building your content plan. So what you want to be doing is creating posts where you introduce your business. So introductory posts about the business introducing what you do and how it's all done that should be coming through the feed. You could also create teaser content in terms of products that have perhaps been out of stock but now they are soon to be delivered in mass quantity. Remember that your product posts and sales posts, this is a, a best practice tip, need to be a split of 80-20. So 80% 80 should be product posts all relevant and informational about the business, the industry that you're in, and the type of products that you're selling, and only 20% of your posts should be a direct hard sell. You also want to be including customer reviews, text, and video. So the emphasis that we are going to have this year is we're going to drive hard our video marketing strategy, and part of that is to include customer reviews that have been videoed. We get that professionally done with our videographer and our photographer who follows our influencers around, but maybe you could do that yourselves or incentivize the customer to send you a short clip about their experience of your product or your service. So we need to have customer reviews coming through the feed, and we generally focus on that on a Tuesday. We call it Testimonial Tuesday, hashtag. Also remember, a quick best practice tip to note is that customers believe other customers. So it's very important to have customer reviews coming through your social media platforms in the form of text and video. You want to be thinking about video content about your product or service. Very short content in the form of reels, YouTube shorts and TikToks, no more than 45 to 60 seconds. Short and snappy is key. Content repurposing, that is a whole different heading all on its own. And that is when you use content that has done very well for you in the past and you are just resharing it to the top of the feed. Or you can go onto another uh, business or person's page that is relevant to your industry and your products, not a competitor though. And then you would share that information to your feed with a shout out and a tag to them. Content repurposing is a whole separate discussion, but very, very handy when you are putting together your content themes for social media and video marketing, etc. You might want to have a heading or a theme all about us and break down exactly what your business does, what we do, actually, what is it that we do? So about us, what we do, how it works and meet the team. People also like to include things like, did you know, or top tips, answers to frequently asked questions, unique selling points, what makes you number one, especially when you have direct competitors that you're looking to take down. 
How are you different, more unique, and 10 times better than your competitors? That needs to be coming through. You also need to be focusing on asking questions and engaging content. Always think to yourself when you're putting your posts together, would I want to share this? As an individual, like, would I want to share this if I saw it? And try to make your posts, your copywriting, and your images well worth sharing. Trending content, you want to keep that in mind. You want to include some short unwrapping, unboxing videos again, video marketing. Those are themes that you can create for your content planning. You also want to think about maybe on a Monday. This is what we do on a Monday. We call it Motivation Monday. Adding a meme that's linked in with one of your products or your services that has some words, some appropriate words and lighthearted of inspiration, aspiration and motivation. So those are some top themes that we are thinking about and incorporating into our strategy for this year across social media and also video marketing. And this is an idea that I have for you which may save you a lot of time. It will be an initial investment of time, but it could save you in the long run. In fact, I believe it will definitely save you time. Perhaps look at creating a bulk amount of posts, let's say 90. That would give you four and a half months of posts if you were to post from a Monday to a Friday. Then what you could do is post, upload all of those and schedule them into your feed once a month because you don't want to, uh, you wouldn't be able to schedule 90 posts all at once. That could be a little bit tiresome. But if you were to post um, every month, a month in advance, you had a total of 90 posts bringing you in every four and a half months and then you put it on a loop. You keep looping all of those posts. No one is ever going to go back super far to see, oh, you've repeated this post before. So that in itself is a form of content repurposing that I have created as an idea that will work for you. Then once you have all of those posts in your feed, um, one, two or three months in advance, it's up to you. Then all you need to worry about would be getting some reels in your feed on TikTok, on YouTube Shorts, and also Instagram, sharing to, to Facebook as well. So what I like is to get all of the tedious and mundane tasks out the way and automate it as far as possible. And then the only thing you need to worry about every week is to somehow get um, some customer pictures and videos that you can create a reel of and upload into your feed, or maybe you would get something done more professionally, which costs a little bit more for your YouTube channel and Instagram. You might have that done once a month and you would have that put into your feed as well on a Thursday. Um, basically, we do our reels on a Tuesday and something more professional on a Thursday if we have enough content or generally if we have something that's been created professionally that might go in only once a month or every other week, depending on our time and our budget. So I leave that with you today. And I also wanted to take you into um, the Instagram page for ready-made stores, which is whom we represent. And just to go through here, you can scan, you can go find them ready-made stores. They have a beautiful Linktree account, so they are all set up correctly. And you can go through and you can actually see the bulk post upload working very well in the loop. And I've used some content repurposing as well. And that is coming through as well as videos on YouTube. We do that every other week. We have a webinar um, reviews as well as customer service reviews. We have some inspiration that's coming through on a Sunday night. We have some FAQs. Do I get my own store? So we've uh, built in all of the frequently asked questions from customers. And you can see that the pictures are just lighthearted, but it speaks to the message as well. 
We also have more of a hard sell is coming through on a Wednesday. This is obviously Instagram. So on Facebook, you'll see more of the promotion of the actual ready-made stores coming through once a week. And here we've done it as well, where we've repeated the same post, driving people to go and buy the ready-made stores. And then, of course, we've allowed for special theme dates as well, like New Year's, uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, and maybe some other significant dates during the year. So if you want to go and see the idea in motion, you can actually go to the ready-made stores feed and you will see that we have these generic templates that are specific per theme built into the feed, just trickling through every week on rotation of four and a half months along with content repurposing. That's our example for ready-made stores. That is our on-screen tutorial for this week. We hope you are well, and we are very much looking forward to seeing you next week or in the following weeks for more. Take care. Bye-bye.